Okay, three things before we get into today's video. The first is that this is probably the last time I'll be starting a vlog from this view. We uh, are approved on the mortgage, we think and hope, and uh, should be moving in next week. Exciting, right? Uh, massive thanks, which is the second thing, to our buddy Dan for putting us up here. It has been so nice to have a place to, to be, a place like this, to be while we were kind of stuck. So Dan has a YouTube channel, Go and follow him and say that you're saying thanks on behalf of Brendan and Jody. Uh, and the third thing is this video is sponsored by Squarespace.com. Head to squarespace.com slash Brendan Vanson. Squarespace is an awesome place for photographers to build a website. Basically, it makes life easy for photographers. Once you've used one of their templates to build your site, there's lots of really cool features for photographers like geotagging, auto sharing posts to social media, and really beautiful portfolio designs. So head to squarespace.com slash Brendan Vanson and you'll get a discount on your first purchase over there. Now, let's go off and do some photography. My beard is out of control. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna shave until we moved into our apartment. Hour drive coming up. Aside from a day in Mertola, I haven't photographed a scene with clouds in three months. So, with some dusty clouds in the sky, I'm stoked. But as I roll towards the west coast of the Algarve, I'm wondering if I'm giving up on a really good sky, risking it for a perfect one. Okay, photographers, if I can give you one tip about um, being a better photographer without actually being a better photographer, it's learn how to read weather maps. I uh, have been watching the weather maps for out here near Sagres for like weeks, hoping for conditions where I got this low level fog rolling through and there's some beautiful fog just blasting off the coast. I've mentioned it before, I get the cold Atlantic Sea, the really hot Portuguese dry air, and when they collide, it creates this crazy weather. So when I saw it on the weather that there was the potential for this, that's why I came out here. But it might be even heavier than I expected. So I was planning on trying to photograph a place up on the coast, but it might be totally, totally in the clouds there. Crazy, crazy fog. I'm gonna try the location I was hoping to photograph, uh, despite the fact it might be in the cloud because it is rolling so fast. It might pass through and I might get lucky. Okay, this is definitely gonna be a risk. Look this way, blue skies. This way, it's whitewash. So definitely a risk. Uh, the location I want to photograph isn't the lighthouse that I have photographed a bunch of times here, but uh, kind of like a huge chunk of earth that's straight this way. So it's a hike, meaning that I have no backup plan, meaning I need this to work. I find it absolutely crazy here. You basically have the Algarve weather there and then you turn around and it's like Scotland. <laughs> it's just absolutely wild. And this trail that goes along the coast here is actually massive. It starts in Lagos and goes all the way to Sinas, which is like three quarters of the way to Lisbon. And at some point when the weather cools down a bit, maybe in October, I'm gonna try to hike the entire thing. So that might come up 
Uh, at some point, maybe I'll be able to convince somebody else like Greg to do it with me, which would be crazy. And actually, I can see the coast now, so already almost there. This is actually really cool. This is kind of reminding me of Cornwall, of Land's End in Cornwall. These epic cliffs, the rocks, and there's two people down on the rocks down there. And I don't understand how they got there because it's kind of in the middle of the sea and some, anyways, I'll show you after with the long lens, but this does look epic. And I do wish I'd given myself a little bit more scouting time because I think Having come down here, I might need to be all the way up on that cliff side shooting back this way. So I'm gonna have a quick look, but I think I probably gotta try to sprint ahead of sunset to get out there. The people are on that rock. This bit of Portuguese coastline is epic. It's a photographer's dream. And as I stand on the cliffs, I can see photos in every direction I look. This might be my new favorite spot in the Algarve. I don't want to pretend like a European explorer, like I've discovered something, but I've discovered something cool. There's a little trail that goes down to this beach here it's too super, super secluded and a little bit scary to stand on this edge. And there's an arch right there in the water. That's really cool. And I don't know if there's any way to photograph it, but that's super, super cool. So there's so much right here that I have no idea why I've never come here before. I need to come back. I haven't even shot it yet and I already know I need to come back. Okay, this is gonna end up being a totally different photo than I planned. As I'm walking along here, I'm losing the coolest looking coast, but the lighthouse, Sal Vicente, is right there. And I had no idea you could see it from this angle. It's absolutely perfect. It is in the fog right now, but I think this could end up being absolutely spectacular. So I'm gonna keep walking to the end, but I'm gonna come back and photograph this, I think. Okay, I've made it to the end of the earth. Eh, wow, it's so epic here. How epic is Portugal? Like seriously, how epic is Portugal? Anyways, it's epic, as, as I might have mentioned a couple times, right here, but it's probably not a great photo. So I'm going to go back and photograph the lighthouse. Don't mind me as my hat's the wrong way around, but I'm doing something crazy. You guys are not going to believe this. I'm using my 24 to 70 millimeter. Never ever use it. Sometimes I wonder why I have it, but it seems like it's the right lens this time for once. Um, this is gonna be an easy photo, I think. It's one of those classic looking vistas. And maybe at some point in time, this will be an iconic location because it has that sort of potential. You've got leading lines straight towards the lighthouse. You've got crashing waves. I can only imagine what it's like with really, really big swell. Sometimes the swell in like November apparently comes so high here, it goes halfway up the wall. So this could be the type of iconic location that everybody comes to Portugal to photograph. But it's also one of those locations that's gonna be a battle every single time you come here because of the conditions. Right now it's super foggy with some really, really harsh light.
I'm feeling super positive right now. I have faith that the light's gonna punch through these clouds. It looks heavy on the horizon, but I still have faith, probably because I'm not very smart. But regardless, this is gonna work as a photo. It already works as a photo in black and white. I don't usually do black and white because I'm usually pretty terrible at it, but this sort of scene just makes black and white look good just because there's such nice tonal contrast in the rocks and the sky and the sea. So I've got a six stop ND on, I've got a six stop medium grad on, and I'm going F11, four seconds, five seconds, and it works. The waves crashing up against the cliffs really helps draw the eye to the lighthouse. Uh, and so even if the sun doesn't punch through and give us really beautiful skies, we already got a photo. We're winning. On the edge of the cliff, watching the fog roll over the lighthouse, I stand with my finger on the shutter hoping to capture a split second of color punching through the scene. And while I do get a brief moment, the cold haze is definitely having its way. Okay, the sun's just gone down and I guess I'm way too positive because there was absolutely no light on it. But there was some like decent color in the sky. It was... Um, like maybe not your typical sunset light. It was hazy, but it looked really nice. But I'm also gonna wait until the blue hour comes because they turn the lighthouse on. And because even if you don't get color at sunset, you always get color during the blue hour. So the sky should start to shift blue purplish in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna wait it out. So I said you always get color at blue hour. There's that blue color you can see behind me, but I guess that's not true when there's fog and there's this foggy haze on the horizon and it's just not turning out the way I wanted it to. But that's not a bad thing because I think there still is a photo. I've gone eight by 10 in my crop to squish things in a little bit. I've got the lighthouse and cliffs on the left. I've got the sea stack on the right. And then I'm at 30 seconds F8 ISO 100 and I'm gonna shoot it. The sky looks really hazy to the eye, but if you overexpose it, I think it's gonna come out kind of dreamy looking. So uh, let's wait for this exposure to expose. Okay, so the photo is done, hit play. Looks good. I always look through the viewfinder on my mirrorless because I feel like I get a better look at it. And yeah, I think it looks good. It's not at all what I was thinking I was gonna do, but I'm glad I waited out sunset and the blue hour for this. So yeah, uh, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna call it a night and I'll be back at it with some more photography soon. I don't know when I'm gonna post the next video because my schedule's like crazy right now. But it will be soon and hopefully I'll see you there. Peace.